Hi ladies! Today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial and it's going to be inspired by Diana Brewster again <laughs> and this look is going to be um, a look she had on Jimmy Kimmel Live two weeks ago it's a very burgundy smoky look uh, she has very bold eyebrow look going on which is everyone is doing that look and I love it and she looks absolutely beautiful so I'm gonna try my best to recreate it and look exactly like her. Not really, but as much as possible. <laughs> All right, here we go. So I already have my face primed. I have um, foundation on. I have bronzer and a little blush. I wanted just to go straight to the eyes because this look is just about the eyes and the eyebrows. That's really the most important thing. So um, in the picture I have here, I'm going to have a little guideline so I can try to do as much as possible like hers. And she has like a burgundy like eyeshadow uh, base tone so I'm going to have I'm gonna get some of my um, eyeshadow from my Ulta palette here it's not really a palette it's like a collection makeup and it's a really nice burgundy color so here we go bend down a little here for you guys oh I can't see okay use liquid eyeliner for this one. I'm going to use instead just also from the Ulta makeup um, a shadow colored galaxy. The name is Galaxy and I'm just going to try to make like a winged eye up to here. So let's try to do it. all the way like that. Looks very dark right now. I know. A little scary, but don't worry. So we have a big brush to diffuse it. Right, and then if you don't want it to look too harsh, I can get some um, a little brown to mix it with the burgundy shade and to look less harsh. There we go. You see that? And then, she doesn't have a bottom eyeliner. She has a little eyeshadow of the same color as the top burgundy eyeshadow. So what I'm going to do is just take a little bit of that. And a little, whatever you have, a just small concealer brush I'm using. Just a thin line. You can also do it with a Q-tip. And just 
under it is underline. You already see the big difference. Um, take my mascara. She has lots of mascara for this look. And also very bold eyebrows. So let's highlight the eyebrows too. Just get a little bit from my Milani brow mix. I mean brow fix. <laughs> brow kit. And instead of putting the lighter color, I'm gonna use the darker shade today. Because her eyebrows are pretty dark. And this look they recreated for her. Very dark and bold. Don't be afraid. Alright, and just go over the top part of the black eyeshadow and just re highlight it with a little bit of the um, burgundy color. So, little concealer, so you don't look like a raccoon. It's not the look. That's not the beat. <laughs> and you see, it's, it could easily turn into a raccoon makeup look. <laughs> so you have to be really careful. And now I'm gonna do my other eye for you. Do it fast. So fast I can do the eye for you. Let's just do it again so you guys can see it again. Just the burgundy look. All over. And a little bit of the dark black eyeshadow. Like so, just smudge, smudge. A little mascara. I better go out after this. Put a lot of makeup on right now. Somebody better take me out. Very dramatic, and just a little bit of the burgundy eyeshadow in the bottom again. And concealer to highlight the eye really well. Let 
brow. Can't do one brow, not do the other. Very bad. All right. I see that obviously, like, I went a little bit darker than she did. It's okay. You know? Still the, 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 the look. This girl, a little bit of uh, your favorite lip liner. And she has a very nude lip color because obviously this look is very bold in the eyes. So just any nude lipstick you want or. Actually, this is a new one I have. I bought it recently from Victoria's Secret. It's a very nice color. It's called Peekaboo. Not oh, fitting. Peekaboo. And I also got this sparkle gloss from Victoria's Secret. It's beautiful. It has shimmer, glitter, and it's, it tastes like... Oh, it's cute. It's, like, it's a weird candy taste. I don't know why. It's like weird. But I like it. And, like I said, I already have my bronzer, blush, but this is the finished look. And let's see, we get a little close-up of her and I. So you can kind of see the similarity again. My color is a little bit darker. Um, I couldn't get that exact tone, but just whatever tone you want, you could repeat it with a lighter shade, a darker shade. It's just a very you know smoky look, sexy, and that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed, and thank you for watching. Mwah.